Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at kind of a simpler way to approach the sharpening that we might do on something and uh, with some extra little top wrinkles in there which can be helpful. Just let us look at this, this cap here to see what you might do with this. So let, let's say we go to uh, live filters there and say go to high pass and it starts off grey. Uh, you can ch turn up the radius and have a look at what's happening here, but normally I'll actually put it into linear light, so I'm looking at the final article here. If I can just drag this up and look for it, what I'll often do is hover the mouse over the zero here and just roll it, and then it goes one chunk at a time, And because very often one pixel is about right. What you can do also, if that's not quite right, that's a bit too much, if you hold down the control key, and on a PC it's, it's just the left control key, I'm not sure why, but that's how it is. Now I just roll this backwards, it's, it's changing one tenth at a time. So the idea overall is you go past where you want, and then go backwards, so you can roll to go one at a time, and if one seems like that's just a little bit too much, hold down the control and then go backwards one tenth at a time until you get to the point where it's six about right. So there we are, maybe about 0 0.7. The other thing you can do is that you want to put, you may well want to do some noise uh, removal beforehand because you're sharpening the noise here as well. And as uh, you can see this here in the cap, if I take it off there and turn it on, you can see the detail in here is being pulled out perhaps a little bit too much. And you want to do the noise reduction before sharpening, otherwise you're trying to reduce already over sharpened the, the noise or detail that you don't want. So I want it to be under here, so I want it to come underneath, so I click on the background so it'll go above here. This, by the way, if I've got on the Assistant Manager up here, I'm doing Add Adjustment as New Layer and Add Filter as New Layer so that it goes above the pixel layer, not as a child. So from here, I then go to the Live Filters and Denoise. And see the noise reduction then has gone directly above that layer that I had selected. Now then, I can turn up the luminance on this but this takes quite a bit before I get to where it is. So what I'll typically do with this, if I hold down the shift key, then roll the mouse wheel, then it goes up 10 at a time. So I literally do the same principle here, go up until it's past where I've done, so the detail here is gone, then rotate backwards, and I'm going to go down one at a time here. I don't need the control key on this because I'm just doing one at a time until I get to the point that seems OK. If I'm in a hurry and I'm just doing approximate things, this is more detail. If I'm doing like a whole batch of things together, then I will literally go to the closest. So I might go at 10% is good enough. And one pixel of the sharpening is good enough. So we can do it like that. If you're not doing high pass, by the way, if we take that off for a moment, if you're doing unsharp, you can do the same here. So I roll the mouse mill one there for one pixel radius, roll the factor one there, then I've got a sharpening. But you have to balance the two here, so literally you can try going a bit more, is the bat that a bit too much or not? And then you can do the same with that one. So you can take it in turn. So you start to get to somewhere that's good enough or nearly good, go slightly past it, so going, mm, that's a bit too much, then back off to the one that's going to give you the best result for you. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.